Now that I understand the poison a little bit better, I do want to change my deck. Squad. So biohazard, bad times. Bad times. If I want to do poison, I really need to actually spec into poison. Remove all gnomes. I'm going to build my own deck with blackjack. Maybe hookers. I haven't decided yet. Let's look at my clan gnomes. Mana lad, mana lad. Those are both going in no matter what. Can we do some decent armor things? Seven damage if crit supplies poison. Seven damage dodge armor spotter. Deals critical hit to mana. Hmm. Maybe instead of poison. Maybe I will go into the spotter thing. We only have one spotter and it costs two mana. That is expensive. Oh yeah, hold on. Return. All right, you know what? De default deck for a second. Just get me out of here. Is it dawn on me if I click on you? We don't have any more talent points. No characteristic points. All right, just wanted to check. I could have maybe upgraded something. All right, trash the deck. Give me the mana lads. They're the only things that give me mana. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. Keeping bard, because upgrades are fun. Select and draws a gnome from the discard piles, fun. Draws three gnomes and applies Mark. Hero receives a crit. Select and discard a gnome. Gives weak, drunk, drunk. Belmont's kind of interesting. Might replace Bone Setter with... Heals eight, poison four. Like getting a little healing in there seems good. So no cleaner. Let's get a healer, a Belmont Bard, two mana lads. And then the attack department. Want some big hitters. Five damage gives strength times two. Discard a random gnome. Increasing strength is nice. And then if we can get some multiple attacks. So like machine gun. Oh, he costs two. Forker. Forker's free. <clears throat> Who else gives me strength? Poison, poison. Do, 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 do. Hero deals. Nine takes four, deals six. Ten damage once. I'll take a free damage, no mana cost. Barbecue gives wieners. Juggler, three times three. Do, do, do. Hmm. You know what? Okay, Boomer. If we get lucky, we get some mana. That's the deck I'll take with me. Lean away from poison a little bit. That whole time, I was poisoning myself. And being... Shocked and surprised that I kept running out of health. Let's go. I'm a little bit more confident with what we got going on now. Despite the utter lack of shields, I'll just pick up shields as we go. And as a quest, I'm already concerned. We're definitely gonna have to aim for hideout. I'm gonna run out of sausages fast. Wieners, we need wieners. Armies run on wieners. Ah, good. He doesn't have a panty stick. Do, do, do. Hmm. Upgrade a random gnome. Actually, if we try and play our hand right. You first. No, you first. Does it get a, Is it gonna give me poison times 10? Oh. 
I don't know why I'm surprised. It clearly says heal and then poison. I just thought it was a heal with poison for the enemy. How do I keep doing this to myself? Let's try and kill them fast. Please upgrade the juggler. You upgraded the mana guy, you bastard. Don't worry, I'm my own worst enemy. I'll hurt me for you guys, don't worry. Next attack card will heal me. Gain some mana. Die. Oh my god, I can't believe I poisoned myself again. Spiky. Five damage to the hero when added to the hand. I did so much damage to me. God damn it. Heal eight to poison ten. Awful card. Throw it in the garbage forever. Like, it's... 10 damage, 9 damage, 8 damage. You you see, it's it's a lot of damage that way. Horrible. Oh, heals 10 and then poison 12. I guess I could do it to an enemy. That's the thing. Healer isn't necessarily for me. I could apply it to the enemy. Let's keep that in mind. Let's remember that. But for right now, with seven health remaining, what I can do is heal myself and then kill the enemy. That way, poison doesn't matter. But 20 damage, that's all on me. <clears throat> Blinds a character. I guess what I gotta remember is cards can be applied on both sides. Just because it says poison and heal doesn't mean I, I need to heal me and the poison's gonna go somewhere else. I do feel like the language in this game is a little weird. Like, there's a lot of typos, a lot of misspellings, a lot of wrong words. And, uh, I do think it could be a little, uh, clearer sometimes. Alright, we're gonna discard a random card. But first, next attack card's gonna heal me. Gain mana. Exactly, like you poison them when they're at full health. It makes perfect sense. Or I use it on me at the very end of the fight. But like, my first reading of the card was, Oh, this heals me and then poisons someone else. No, 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 no. It's, it's a, whatever you put it on gets both. Increase my strength and hopefully not have Forker get discarded. Of course, it's Forker Blind you All right upgrade a random gnome you're at full health enjoy a little bastard Wait, can I upgrade mana eater? Hmm. It didn't matter. Just play it. I feel better now that I'm using the card the right way. Six strength. Discard a random card. I have all three mana. Let's upgrade something. It upgraded that. Okay, Boomer. Mana myself. Five damage three times. Missed one of them, I guess. Alright, we have strength up. Don't heal yourself. Just straight up 10 damage. And 15. I probably should have... I, I could have healed myself a bit more. Another healer! Removes the target debuff. You know, with a cleaner. Yeah. 
Maybe healer works a little bit better for me now. Have him in my hands. Why not? It's worth a try. 34 wieners. We're almost out, but we're gonna get more. Come on, healer in my hands. You failed me. You're coming at me with four damage. Let's blind you. Upgrade a card. Belmont myself. A padlock on a chain on a stick is just a very funny weapon. Poison you. She's gonna put six poison on me. Okay, Boomer. Didn't get lucky there. Alright, six points. That's manageable. Will that remove poison from me? It does. Excellent. Eight damage. If we crit, we get mana. Nine three times, not bad. Deal of damage. If he misses, he returns to your hand and gets plus one damage. Selects and draws one gnome from the discard pile. Deals seven damage, 50% chance to crit. You know what? Bone setter. Getting someone out of my discard that I need. Nice. And now we need to fuel our army with copious wieners just hot glistening wieners for everybody there we go that should be a decent number of wieners keep me going maybe train a gnome 25 to upgrade somebody and a curiosity mister upgrades a card I like you bard if we put bard in there Upgrades a selected gnome. Pretty nice. And it looks like it removes the mana cost from him. That's premium. Save some coins. I could have bought more wieners or healed a bit more, but I think we can handle it. Alright, horrible birds. Oh, upgrade a selected card in my hand. Which one shall I upgrade? Forker's doing no damage at the moment. One whole damage three times. I should have upgraded healer, but whatever. Play you for fun. Whatever, once we get some strength going, Forker does good work. He's just not a great opening card. Do -do -do -do. Next attack will heal me for 50% of the damage dealt. We got Juggler, three damage three times, that's not bad. <gasps> but wait, Bone Setter. Let's get Bard. Upgrade Juggler. Four damage three times. Yeah. Belmont. Mana land. Yeah. Apply blind to this dude. And then four damage three times. Ah, oh, not bad. Poison took him. Horrible birds are here. He has seven health. I haven't increased my strength yet, so let's start with that. 15 damage. A little waste on him, but whatever. My strength's on its way up. God, I hate these birds. I'm guessing that means they're reinforcing. 
I can't kill all these stupid birds. Here, you're at 21 health. We'll do you poison. Select and draws a gnome from the discard pile. Bone setter. He's free now. Free! You know what? Poison multiple people. Uh, Forker's getting up there. Let's grab Forker. I really do need some armor. I made a mistake with not having armor. I'm gonna try and just lower their health so we can blast them all out in one turn. So you are easy. Damn it. Don't do it. Don't call in two more birds. Ah, the poison did it. Good work, me. I I planned that. I knew what was going on. Draws a gnome from the wagon. Training. The target receives Kung Fu 1. All melee gnomes deal critical damage. Immune to all enemies. Do I have anybody that's, uh, yeah, okay, Boomer. He's not a melee dude, though. He's the only one that I really want crits on. So I'll take Flagno. We're getting some good trainers. Sorry, tutors. Good tutors. Use the appropriate Magic the Gathering terminology. Alright, this could have bottle of cider, cage, stone gnome, chest. And this has a quest. 82 sausages. It costs 43. So we'll be okay here, okay here, and then we can just buy more sausages. Let's do a quest. Out of all the features of this game, I think the one I appreciate the most is this, like, this upkeep system, this, uh, this wiener system. Because, like, making your pathway choices in Slay the Spire and all the other games that use this particular pathway system you're just trying to min-max rewards. Like, oh, I want this. I want it more than that. That's all you're ever doing. Like, you're just trying to choose the path that's the most beneficial to you. And that's fine. I think it's enjoyable. But this introduces an element of, like, if I go this way, I might run out of wieners. And then I might start losing random cards from my deck. But the rewards on this path even though I'm not going to get the wieners I need, are pretty severe. I want those things. It, it puts a little bit more thought into the map system. Because usually I'm just like, oh, it's the same fucking map, whatever. I'll just try and get as many relics as possible, or I'm just going to try and get as many... many prizes as possible. This one has a little bit more like, okay, uh, I don't know if I'll lose a good gnome, though. It also means, like, taking more cards increases the upkeep, which means more wieners. So sometimes you really do want to say no to the prizes. Mm -mm. At nightfall, you set camp and build a large fire to cook dinner. Suddenly flames shoot up into the sky and the Devil of Gnomes appears. Offers you a bargain. Enhance your warrior's strength, we must sacrifice health. I did this last time, I will do it again. Bone Setter. I get to choose a gnome from my... Select and draws a gnome from the discard pile but I won't have to pay mana to do it. Same thing here, I can remove the mana. Okay, Boomer, eight, and if it crits. Deal two damage three times. Anything that costs mana, if we can remove the mana cost, is pretty nice. Yeah, I think Bone Setter or Flag Gnome are both pretty good. Let's do him. I'll do it again and do it to Flag Gnome. That's pretty good. Put out the fire. Two free upgrades that just cost some health. As long as we survive, we'll be fine. Do, do, do. All right, we could so, like upgrade a gnome in my hands. No one in my discard pile yet, but there will be in a second. 
So let's upgrade Juggler. Use Juggler. 29 health. So you're actually attacking. Let's go for you first. Bone Setter. Take Juggler back out. And then blind you. I would love to find armor. Armor would be super helpful. Alright. Let's poison you. Do five damage. All it takes. Pull a specific gnome from the wagon. Hmm. I'm hoping it doesn't discard Forker. It discarded Forker. Of course it did. So he's buffing himself again, but he has 10 poison on him. Now he's gonna do 27 hull damage. Oh no, I'm so afraid. You're dead. I'm learning. Evolving. Gives weak times one and seven armor. Can be applied to enemies. I got one armor, but I don't want weak on me. But strength I do want more of. We have multi-hit guys that are weak, but with strength are huge. All right, we could try and gamble on getting cider here, but it's probably for the best if we do the smart play. Uh, we lost somebody. I thought we'd be okay because we we're... All we needed was one sausage. Buy wieners, buy wieners, heal. Think we have enough to make it now? Oh no, no we don't. But we might be okay, there's a chest. God damn it. I'm gonna bleed gnomes on the way. Goats are scary. All right, increase our strength. If he crits, we get lucky. So I believe that's a shield break, shield break. The big guy in the middle is the one we probably want to kill sooner, but they can strengthen themselves. I might actually just say, one of the sheep needs to go. They all got a little stronger, so the sheep are both buffing themselves. Six damage three times. We'll heal for the next attack. That's pretty good. Hmm. Only have the two mana. Heal a bunch. You're both buffing yourselves. Let's work on killing the constantly getting stronger sheep. Enter. Ten damage from the sheep, seven from you. Okay. Flag gnome first. No one's in the cart. That's my so that's that's my bad. I want Where's the guy that just gives me straight up more strength? More strength. Mana. Poison you. Wait. I did the wrong one. Shit. Upgrade a card. Poison times 12 for you. A big poison. 17 damage, though. That hurt, not gonna lie. 15 critical 2. We got plenty of damage, though. Like, I think we're okay. 12 times 3. 
See you in hell. There we go. Not too bad. Grievously injured, but alive. Select and draw as a gnome. Deal seven damage and it's chained. I'm just going to take money. I can't afford to feed these gnomes. Like, someone's going to die between this and the next one. And we're going to have to gamble on hoping we find food in that chest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's flag gnome. Who do I want? I want strength. Improve my strength. We have seven three times, four three times. And then I can take someone from the discard pile and do it again. So seven times three. Bone setter. Take you back. You're dead already. And turn. He's gonna weaken me. And gave me spiky. I didn't get spiky. Easy fight. That was a very good opening hand, to be fair. Deals 9 damage. Hero takes 4. Deals 6 damage. Applies 6 H. Oh, heals 6. Applies drunk times 2. I mean, Barkeep's a nice... Like, Drunk's not too bad. I really just want straight up armor. Give armor. Alright. Difficult battle, normal battle. Can we get lucky and get cider? Oh, cleaner died! Your team discovers a hefty chest, but they don't know what's inside. The gnomes near you chant, Open it! Open it! We got 500 golds and some mushrooms. No food, though, so another gnome's going to bite it. We lost Barkeep! I just added him to the deck. Welcome to the team! No food for you! Train gnomes. Belma, what happens if we train you? Next attack card will heal for 100% of the damage dealt. Definitely train him. Weapon Smith for strength? Do that. I might train more. Let's, let's... I got a lot of gold from that chest. Blind without a mana cost. Yeah, you know what? That was a good stop. An excellent stop. Feel good about that. Probably didn't need to buy sausages outside of like whatever it took to get here. Alright, debuff me by four attack. Gonna put crits on me for four turns, and two things in my hand will be chained. That's a bonkers amount of bad things happening. Huh. So we can upgrade... Swordsman. We can bone set to get Bard back. Upgrade, okay, Boomer. Just to maximize damage output. But this is looking a little scary. But these aren't the buns you're looking for. Character with the poison. Oh. I'm guessing this will poison. For two mana? Hmm. You know, I did just damage you, but I'm thinking I'm gonna heal you, too. Just to apply poison to you. 22 poison. Oh my. 
Okay. All right. If we could do that kind of stuff, like a lot of poison, I'm all on that. Let's remove one of my debuffs. Let's pull a gnome from the wagon. Next attack card will heal me. Give myself eight strength. Try to undo this nightmare. Not gonna get myself drunk. I should have pulled him. I just threw him into the pit. All right, blind is nice. Is my wagon now full? I think my wagon's empty. No, no, my wagon's full. I can pull whoever I want. I can get a mana. 32 poison. And if I pull someone, it has to be someone that's free. Bone setter. Give me you. Or actually, I've already applied blind. Yeah, this should be fine. Just go for damage. And then a bunch of poison damage. I got grievously injured, but I'm feeling better now. Hmm. Strength times four. I can get this up pretty high. Add a whole bunch more strength first. Multiply my strength by four. Oh, it didn't really multiply, I just added four. 13 damage, end my turn. More buns for me. Fifteen damage coming my way, and she real she will crit. That's kind of scary. Heal myself. Aw, Bard doesn't get to do anything there. I'll Belmont myself. Even though we don't have an attack yet. Oh, the crit! I tried! I tried to keep myself in the green. Man... I want to kill this lady. I want to do it! I'm gonna try one more time. I was happy with this deck except for the fact that I literally had no way to get shields. <coughs> <coughs> Let's ditch you in favor of shields. Yeah, six armor. There it is. Replace healer with some armor. I love Bard. We had some good stuff going on. Increasing our strength is good. Adding mana. Upgrade. Armor. Healing based on damage we do. Multiple hits per turn is good, because we can increase our strength. And a possibility- a gamble on more men. I'm taking her down. I will do this. I will get Rocco. I will save him. It was right at the bottom there, the, the bun, too. I could have figured it out just by paying attention. But Brain... Brain is sleeping. Alright, I understand the game better. I can win now. We got a sausage we have to hit there. I think I'll just take my lumps along the way. I'll see how well we could do and then get no get get more wieners there. I'll ignore the right hand path. We might lose a gnome or two though. <clears throat> Alright. Upgrade my strength. 
Kill the first man immediately, set myself up for a heal later. He's buffing himself. Oh no, he debuffed me. <laughs> it's alright. I'm still technically stronger than I am weaker. Get myself back up to four mana. Upgrade a random ass gnome. He's hitting me for five. That's fine. Don't bother me none. Ow! He hit me again! There's a spiky over here. Give myself some shields. Uh, for two mana, I'd rather do Rebel first. Okay, Boomer. Debuff me a little. Only have five health left. Goodbye. Ah, level three! Belmont Bartender deals five damage. You know, more Rebel. I want to try and get my strength high. Get those multiple hits to pay out. Panties on a stick, it's the pervert! He's buffing himself. We want to kill this guy fast. Please don't discard Juggler or Forker. Real asshole, you know that? Belmont myself. Back to full health! He's gonna buff himself again. If we do mana, mana, armor, bard, debt. That way it couldn't discard the one card I wanted. Don't, don't discard juggler. You are outrageous. It's like it knows the one card I want. Just murder you. Take my prize. Select and discard one gnome. Applies poison. Training. All melee gnomes deal critical damage. I mean, training's not bad. Crits are... Pretty goddamn powerful. Looks like they doubled the damage. So crits are stellar. I get to choose the gnome I discard, and I get to apply poison. It's like Kung Fu Master. Do, 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 do. What kind of quest is it gonna be? Your squad's creeping through a bush, past a butcher shop. You spy a chain of sausages next to the entrance, but there's a pack of dogs sleeping underneath it. There's a cook napping on the porch. Do you dare steal this? I steal the wieners. Steal the wieners. You and several of your fighters clamber onto your comrade's shoulders and deftly pluck the sausages from the crossbar. One of the sausages dangles tantalizingly in front of the dog's nose. Pick up one sausage. The dog's eyes open as you pick up the sausage, growling and barking ferociously. It wakes up its companion and its owner. It's time to fight. I don't care, I get, I get, I'm flush with sausage now. No one's gonna die in my deck. I could have left, but I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna take six damage, I'll set myself up for a future heal. They're all drunk! Alright. Hit the man in the... You know, I'll just kill this dog. And that'll heal me to full. 
Apply training time six. God damn. This is such a waste on the dog. Wait, why didn't I use the mana card? What was wrong with me? It's actually valuable to play those at the end. Our strength's up to six. <laughs> training. I mean, I got training for days here. Just murder that man. A hundred sausages! Hell yeah! We ain't starving today. Murdered a man, took all of his wieners, and left. <laughs> Meeting place of rebels. Here you could hire gnomes for your squad. We could have another part. Honestly, leave no. I can abandon a gnome. I don't know if I want to hire anybody. Like Bard's good. I want to mine more Bard, but Bard's better once we upgrade Bard. I suppose we will have the opportunity to upgrade Bard soon, though. Now I'm gonna leave. None of those, uh, none of those sparked any interest in me. Yeah, next stop I'll be able to upgrade a gnome or two. And I'm definitely going to upgrade Bard. Alright, you're attacking for seven. You're gonna put up some shields. I'll block most of it. The man in the back. Set myself up for a future heal. Three times three. Seven damage increase my strength. Let's do some training. Pop some mana. Gonna take two whole damage. Oh, he's so sad. All right, you're an easy one to kill. I don't want to waste big hits on you. Kill them all! All right. Select and draws a gnome from the wagon. Oh, I want from the discard pile. I love bone setter. Give me that bone setter gnome. All right, 47 wieners. We're still flush. Well, not flush, but we have some. No need to heal. So first thing I'm going to do... Bard gets upgraded. Now we cost no mana, and we get to choose the thing we upgrade. And the second one we're going to do... Bone setting. Doesn't cost mana. <clears throat> I'm tempted to do Belmont again, too, but... Yeah, 75 is a little pricey. Let's just get plenty of wieners. Keep us flushing wieners. Alright, let's think about this. Better rewards. And then a chest. Or a quest. Let's go to the right. It's gotta be sausage expensive, but we could risk trying to get some stuff from a chest. Training time six seems like a nice opener. Our melee tanks are gonna crit now. They're coming at me with ten damage. <laughs> I mean... I'm 
just block it. Game decided I wasn't going to get any interesting cards that, that draw. Next attack will heal. I'm not going to waste him yet. Let's upgrade Forker. That way he actually does some damage to start here. I'm going to take two damage. Yeah, I'm not going to waste Belmont on that. Yeah. That accounts as a crit. Man, training is what we need, not spotter. Kung Fu Master is incredible for this kind of builds. Like, I wish... I wish I had known about you earlier. We could have taken all of the if on crits, this goes off things. Uh... Alas. Well, we'll just keep on building up our strength for now. Take three damage, that's fine. Uh, eleven damage three times, now we're cooking. Let's also heal... And go for 13 times 3. That's what I thought. Deals 5 damage, gives strength times 2, discard a red gnome. I got two rebels in there. But speedy. I like card draw. Alright, 93 wieners. 52 wieners. We're okay on wieners for a moment. The child. All right, Kung Fu Master first. Don't discard Juggler though. Yeah. And two of our cards are gonna be prisoners. That's a bummer. From the discard pile, we take... Juggler. <coughs> Who I can't play because it takes mana. Whoops. Still takes it. Damn. I made a boo-boo. set ourselves up for a, f a heal. Is this a gnome catcher? It is a game where Snow White has decided that gnomes are going to be slave labor, and we escaped from Gnome Tanamo Bay and have put together the Gnome Rebellion, and now we're trying to kill Snow White. That sounds like a joke, but that is literally the story of this game. Murder that child! 10 damage once per battle, deals 7 damage, 50% chance to crit. I will take healer. It's a nice, like, end of the rounds, prevent the poison damage, or just straight up, like, I'm gonna poison you. We could do a quest, or we can gamble on some cider. Let's gamble on cider. Because after this, I'm gonna run out of wieners, and my gnomes will starve. Come on, cider. It's a hundred coins and a mushroom. We did not get lucky. So I'm good for one more travel. I'm going to lose two gnomes to hunger. Two gnomes will die of starvation. Summertime gnats are the worst. Alas, the things I want to crit are always ranged. All right, we have a cat doing one times five damage. Supply some training. Not that it does much for us at the moment. Get some shields. 
Start working on the kid in the back. Do, 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 do. And who do I have in my discard pile here? Probably want to get Juggler back. Let's poison you. Get some mana. Yeah, where's Juggler? Ah, Juggler cost some mana. That's fine. I'll take it. She's gonna poison me for six? You little bastard. Alright, did I get my vampire? I didn't. That's disappointing. Alright, poison takes the cat. Got speedy. Pop mana. She's gonna imprison my my poor gnomes. Let's upgrade speedy. 14 damage, draw a card. Take all! I took some damage on that one. Slipper is pretty bad, but he does get better. Gets plus one damage. Like, will that build up over time? He's a free card, doesn't cost mana. I'm tempted to take another Belmont, because you can only use him once per battle. And he's a good heal, especially once we upgrade him. Alright, we're gonna lose a gnome. We lost a rebel, that's not great. Rebel was kind of an important part. You're a big healthy boy, let's poison you. And then, I might do it again. Let's poison you as well. And then Kung Fu Master. And do no damage. Because I haven't increased my strength yet. Some heals are going to be very necessary. I could really use a Belmont. I really could use a Belmont now. Poison's bad. Belmont, thank god. Bard's free. Upgrade Belmont. Get some armor. Next attack will heal me 100%. I wish I had a better attack card to throw at you right now. But another Belmont going into my discard pile. Thank you, card draw. So helpful. Don't heal them. Bad. Nothing in the discard pile. All right, but we could we could play with that. One damage, three turn. That's not not good enough. Come on, we were 10 damage. He's gonna take 7 from poison. 6 health. 4 poison still on me. Oof. Alright, I got you. You died of poison. <gasps> Armor. Mana and a heal. 
poison this jackass. She dies the poison, he dies the poison. Captain debuffs a lot. Will start being a character we hit. Two health! I have some armor, right? Yes. Heal a little bit more. Improve my strength for a change. Almost done being poisoned. I still have some armor. Heal a little bit more. Yeah, this is just Captain debuffs a lot over here. Spiky, okay, boomer, mana lad. Honestly, mana lad. Bone set, mana lad. Heal myself. Heal myself. Oh, Lord. Three damage, three times. Training. Juggler's kit. We're gonna lose a gnome to starvation, though. <clears throat> Look at how hungry he is. He's starving. Look, he's dying! He needs food! He needs some milk! Oh, God damn it, Kung Fu Master! Heal myself. Get just enough sausage to get me to the boss. Everything else after this is tr is all about... Alright, I still have one of my Kung Fu Masters. Let's upgrade a Belmont. A juggler? Two Belmonts. I want both Belmonts upgraded. And then a juggler. And now we're good. I don't know how confident I feel about the boss fight, but at least we're here again. Just enough to get me there. I have more heals now. I understand how things work better. So step one, training. Step two, apply poison. Step three, slap a lady. And I guess I'll just throw Forker away. I don't know if I should, uh... I mean, I guess he did damage because we had training, so some some damage happened. I don't know if I want to set up for a heal. I should save him. Like, we need we need to have heals when we need heals. Alright. Upgrade Rebel. Put 21 more poison on her. Give myself strength, we're counteracting some of her debuffs. Then I'm gonna take five damage. Right! We're gonna take double damage because she put mark on us. We have to remember whatever number we see up there is not the real number. Who do we have in the discard that would be very handy right about now? We do have a Belmont. But we're only... We're not that hurt. We should save Belmont. I do have a mana in discard, right? I don't. I do not. There's a bun in discard. Don't like that he's the one that went in there. So 10 damage is a little scary. But we have a Belmont. 
Five damage times three. Five damage times three. We have a mana lad. That's not too bad. Bone setter. Mana lad. And now I'll set myself up for the future. I heal. Yeah. The hits are hard. She hits quite hard. All right, no armor on me right now. Apply some training. Heal for nine. Big debuff on me. 15. I'm afraid of what that means for me. Don't have a lot of mana to work with right now. And that I have no mana. Full health, a little shields. Yeah, that's horrifying. I think this stacks. If I heal her for 8, but put 10 more d poison on there, I think that's actually pretty worth it. She's gonna take 26 damage there. 15 shields. I cannot let her hit me. Fifteen shields. Do I still have training? I have training. Eight and discard. I think we got her. Poison should do it. Oh yeah, take that. Goddamn right. Thousand experience, some um, psychedelic mushrooms. We have Che Govera. Should be Che Gnomevera. Four damage, plus four damage for every curse in your hand. A good, like, counter for the kind of boss we just fought. Stinky. Who farts on people, of course. Doppel gnomes. Duplicate selected gnome. Can be used once per battle. That's actually pretty nice. And Rocco, which I believe is a new, like, character. We could replace our character with that. Free gnomes can be added to the starting squad. Take that, lady. You find Bro, Rocco, and his entire squad in the crazed hag shack. Oh, Chief, we're, uh, we're here. Rocco and the bros are here, too. The hag caught them one by one and locked them here. She said not to eat Jabanj and brought us a pile of wieners. We decided to finish off the wieners first and then get out, but you found us already. Wait, the hag wasn't going to eat you? Nah, boss, she wasn't. Seemed like she tried to warn us about something. Let me introduce myself. My name's Rocco of the Street Fighter Clan. My squad and I were following the bun trail. We thought the gnomes from the gnome forest left them for us to show us a safe path. We stuffed ourselves full of them and then fell asleep. And that's when the hag snatched us up. She's creepy, but doesn't seem to want to do us any harm. Look, she even brought us a magazine with pictures. Naked pictures. It's a nudie mag. Then again, as she did that, she hissed, She's here. It's a trap, fools. What a strange egg. He hands you the magazine. I didn't read ahead, by the way. I was joking about the naked part. You see a pretty naked girl on the cover titled Lady in Red. Radar, do you copy? Do you want anything about sexy naked women called Lady in Red? Yeah, Chief, my grandpa, seven times removed, used to tell me a scary story. One day a fair lady left her home and disappeared. 
And the next time her parents saw her during the full moon in their backyard, she had nothing on except for a red cloak. Super sexy. The lady flashed her eyes and her boobs and then ran away into the gnome forest. She's sometimes seen at the edge of the forest, but only by creepy lonely men. My gramps would say the cursed lady in red cloak would come for cowardly gnomes. Why do you ask? Did you find a book of fairy tales or something? Your grandfather can't be removed? <laughs> Not sure it's a fairy tale. Snatch the page away from Bro while he's gawking at the naked lady in red. Forest! Stay away from the forest! The bunch are lie! Holy cannoli, you're not dead, Hag? Looky here, she's still kicking. Chief, I suggest we get the hell out of here right now before she feeds us to death. She could lock us all away here, the stubborn toad. Just give me the magazine with the lady in red over here. I'll give it back once we're uh, in camp and I'm done with it in my bunk. Not now, bro, we have a critical situation. Bus, I think this old hag is really trying to warn us about something. Hey, old lady, we got it. Calm down. Something bad is going on in the gnome forest, but it's too dangerous to go unprepared. The resistance camp needs our help. Come on, let's go back to camp and then decide who of us will scout out the gnome forest and who's going to stay guard in camp. Agreed. So we got Rocco, and we can upgrade Miko. Do we share these upgrade materials? Like if I hit save there, and then go back and look at you... We don't share them. That's neat. Attacks to enemies with poison restore 10% of the damage dealt. Still specking this man into poison, even if we don't have the cards for it just yet. <laughs> Plus one damage to melee attack gnomes. When a hero gets drunk, he has a 50% chance to also get dodge. Plus one armor to all armor gnomes. Drunk. Specking into drunk. What's, what's Rocco's clan? He's got Boxer, Boxer. Deal two damage two times. Five damage and knocks back the target. Four damage and a crit on enemy behind. Five damage to the target has armor, gives five armor. Deal six damage and pulls the target. So this guy could re reposition and has a decent number of repeat attacks. <laughs> Deals four damage two times to your hero. Why? Ditch trainer. Applies dodge times one, gives five armor. If hero has armor, gives five more. And he has his two mana boys. Remove Roger Dodger. Where's my... It gives you strength. Get a rebel in there. And he has all melee boys. Where's, um... Where's my good friend? Kung Fu Master. All melee gnomes deal critical damage. <clears throat> yeah. Target receives Kung Fu times one after cooldown. Well, I feel like we should check out this new dude. Minus one damage to ranged attack gnomes. <clears throat> if the hero takes damage during his turn, he draws one gnome from the wagon. Yeah, Rocco seems like a fun time. Give Rocco a swirl. Lee, give him a swirly. Raspberries. The Lost Tribe. Never-ending nightmare. The gnomes, who have broken free from Snow White's enchanting song, now suffer from nightmares. To stop them, the gnomes have to delve deep into their dreams. 
face all their fears. A never-ending nightmare, fights go one... one another, and the enemies have stronger special abilities. Every tenth fight is a boss battle. After which, enemies in the next fights get new abilities. The deeper you go into the dream, the harder the enemies get, but the higher the reward. So this is like... never-ending dungeon. Need to befriend a turtle and a cow. <laughs> Shroomer! Hero takes two damage, gains two mana. Selects and discards one gnome, gives two mana. <clears throat> the Lost Tribe. All gnomes know the story of the Lost Tribe. A whole clan of gnomes went to the Wolven Forest and disappeared. Every single one. Since then, no one has even thought about crossing the threshold of this forest. In front of the forest, there's a sign with a crooked inscription written in a gnome hand. No trespassing danger. Do not be trespassing. Let's go, Rocco. I wonder if this is like, yeah, it's like a storybook event, like the other one. The tavern fork poker and the edge of the forest of fireflies is noisy tonight. You're assembling a squad to go to the forest of fireflies and uncover the secret of the lost tribe. A hero and ten brave nobs are already with you, but the rest of the tavern are not particularly eager to get into the lost thicket of the enchanted forest. <coughs> Not trespassing if the owner's dead. Larger squad. You decide to collect more gnomes for such a dangerous quest. But how? If you accuse them of cowardice, the gnomes, they could beat you up. But if you offer coins, the most greedy may go, but not the most experienced. Everyone who doesn't come with me is cowards! <clears throat> a good half of the gnomes in the tavern were outraged by such an accusation. Accusation to their hearts! First there were shouts, then bottles flew, and then fists were used. The good old fight in the tavern began. You got a good punch in the ear, and... When you were flying over the bar, you saw they throw one of your squad gnomes out the window. Minus one. We lost a gnome. Hmm. Goodbye. Jumping your feet, you accurately threw a bottle at your opponent, but you were immediately knocked face down and dragged with your muzzle. All of the bar, collecting all the puddles of cider, spits, and boogers with your beard. Gross. Spitting and cursing, you saw another gnome from your squad quietly decided to slip away. We've done a real number. When the fight ended, eight gnomes approached you. Well, Chapushin brothers, our dad is the owner of this tavern. There he is, hanging on the chandelier. Well, it's not like you're a weakling, so we're ready to go with you. But only half of us will go. We need to leave someone with dad to put our tavern in one piece. Why do you need fights? <laughs> what do you need, fighters or masters? First ones to beat the muzzles, others to hear the muzzles. Fighters to beat the muzzles. Deal six damage, pull the target. Deal six damage, critical hit to enemy with armor. Alright, we don't actually want long range folk. Because our character has the myopic debuff on him. So these are always going to be weaker by one. Yeah, this all worked out. Sort of. Oh, these are the four I got. Never mind, I thought I was choosing. Thus your squad went to the Forest of Fireflies. As soon as you entered the forest, the branches immediately hid the sun and you had to light torches. The darkness thickened with every step. And soon you noticed that a glowing blue mist was rising from the ground. One of the gnomes flatly refused to go any further. You must either send him back or pay him to stay, cowardly, greedy booger. I'll pay him 25. 
You continue your way through the forest. This is already an impassable windfall. You stumble and, falling, run into a sharp branch. You, you can make a halt and heal, but the gnomes grumble and demand an additional fee to spend the night in this cursed forest. You made a halt. When the light of the fire dispersed and darkness around your group, your gnomes relaxed a little. One of them began to hum a song, and the others picked up on it. Five minutes later, the gnomes were dancing around the fire, roasting sausages. When dinner was over, your troop proclaimed the singer to be the bard and called him the Banisher of the Darkness. Who here will be the Banisher of the Darkness? Three damage two times. Eight damage, pull the target. Ten damage, crit to anyone with armor. Deal seven damage, give strength times two. Fourteen damage once. Gives one amount of one strength. That upgrade. Yeah, like I've been I've been pretty impressed with this game. Like it's a robust roguelike card game. But it's not just aping other games. It has its own mechanics that I think like introduce good things. Like, the map is always pretty boring to me in these games. You just min-max rewards. This one, you have to balance a resource. Like, you actually need upkeep for all of your troops. So the longer you're going on the map without getting more sausages, you're going to start losing people, and it's random. So you don't want that to happen. And then events on the overworld map, in between your, like, roguelike runs, feature these events, which are, like, choose-your-own-adventure path things. It's pretty neat. Yeah, the sausage mechanic might be the best thing they added. Like, I feel like that's a great, a great addition to these kind of games. You come to the edge of a ravine. The slopes and lower reaches are dotted with blue mushrooms, giving the appearance of a carpet. You see the figure of a gnome standing between the mushrooms, gazing at them with enchanted eyes. The gnome, glowing like the mushrooms surrounding him, spun to face you. His eyes lack pupils. Friend? He asked, without waiting for a reply. He continued, Would you like some mushrooms? I know which ones are best. If you a friend. Looks like he's a gnome from a lost tribe. Yes, we are friends. Don't be afraid. The glowing gnome seems to be looking through you and smiles. Friend! He takes you by the hand. Come with me, friend! Follow the shroomer. <coughs> The glowing gnome guides you to a small clearing in the mushroom forest, where two skinny gnomes are picking the fungi. They look up as you approach, and the air crackles with blue magic. It appears the mushrooms are the source of powerful mana. Hello! Both slowly turn to you. What are you doing? We lick and carefully choose the best mushroom for our ladies, who appreciate our selection. Eating mushrooms brings delicious flavors, as well as visions to behold! Join us, and let us show you. Maybe we should... <clears throat> Maybe we should send the found glowing gnomes back to the tavern. But you will have to pay a guide from your squad to do this. Send the gnomes back with a guide? Or go with them? Go with them! Your group ventures forth in with a company of glowing white-skinned gnomes. You're horrified to discover bones crunching underfoot, belonging to former gnomes. Eating mushrooms for a long time will draw you into a world of dreams, the glowing gnome sighed. But the lady claims it's good there. You come across four more mushroom gnomes. Three of them are sitting around the fourth, who is lying on the ground and not breathing. Looks like he's dead. This does not surprise his comrades at all, and they smile at you. Our friends, look! Path already gone to the world of dreams! We just collected the night norm. Shall we go to our ladies? Together? Why are you serving them? Ladies? It's always been that way, friend. Humans can't eat mushrooms, but gnomes can. And we can find those that give a lot of magic! Glowing one waves to another group of mushroom gnomes, and they join you. But this is slavery. <clears throat> slavery? The mushroom gnome seems surprised. I don't know, friend. Wait. They forgot the quotation mark. <clears throat> I don't know, friend. We haven't seen another life. We need to collect mushrooms so the ladies are happy. And here we are. 
You come to a leaning hut, in front of which there are several more mushroom gnomes in line. A whole crowd of glowing gnomes is already coming with you. One of your gnomes in the squad offers to take them out of this creepy place. But it's dangerous. and demands a fee. <clears throat> Listen to me, mushroom gnomes! Friend! Dozens of heads turn to you. Your ladies enslave you! You live on the bones of your own kin and eat mushrooms that poison you! I. You don't have time to finish. As the door of the hut bursts open and three witches emerge, their eyes blazing with fury. Which one of you lousy chatterboxes is that? The eldest witch booms. More gnomes! Do you think to steal our precious kids? Not a chance! The witches draw their curved daggers and begin to chant a fearsome spell. Your squad rushes the battle and notice that the mushroom gnomes seem to have begun to understand something. What will you shout to them? You're not slaves, friend! Yaw! There are things faster than mushrooms! Freedom is not eating mushrooms, friend! You throw a bag of sausages on the ground of mushroom gnomes and rush to battle. Glowing with interest, they sniff the sausages, bite them! Some of their eyes clear up and they rush to help you! To battle! Well, you didn't tell me there were sexy witches. I don't know, I might be okay with that. I changed my mind, let me with them. I want to be with them. That's looking pretty good on that side. Are those- oh no, never mind. They're wearing gnome hats for uh, Madonna-style bras. That doesn't bode well for us, I take her- I take her back. Alright, we don't- oh my god, we only have two mana? This dude... Mana poor. Let's see, let's rebel first. And then I guess just so we have our mana? Oh, I get a card? Oh yeah, his ability! Oh yeah! So, range guy is no good. But if the hero takes damage during his turn, he draws a no. Interesting. Ow. 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 I didn't actually bring any heals with me, so that could be problematic. Training times three. Swap their places. I don't know if that does anything good for me, but why not? Some armor. Hurt myself from mana. Draw a gnome. Jesus, how many shroomers do... That's too many shroomers. I don't have any heals at all. That's bad. That's real bad. I foresee a problem too. I want to give me armor. Oh no, only they. Oh, no, I see. Let's just discard some of them. Oh, come on! Stop! I. I made a boo boo. I made a real boo boo. No. I was like, yeah, get me more of these cards. We'll have so many. Didn't think about the implications. No, it's all right. Like this, this is a special event. So if we lose, we don't lose the whole campaign, which is good. They're all 
all back to full health. That's just outrageous. We made some bad choices along the way. I should have sent all of these dudes back to the tavern. No, I'm fucked. Like, absolutely, there's no way we're making it out of here. But we can come back and try the event again if we want. Kill me. Return to camp. Run, little gnomes. Run. Two mana, that's rough. All right. Let's try that again. We don't have to do all the dialogue, because we just did it. Select and discards one gnome. Gives two. I want the mana cook. <clears throat> I'm trying to get to him. Knowing what we know now. <coughs> Knowing what we know now. Let's try to assemble a larger squad. I'm gonna call everyone cowards. I will say goodbye. Like, mana won't be a problem. So we'll say goodbye to one of him. And then we'll say goodbye to... Deal four damage on... And crit on enemy behind. Let's get rid of, uh... I want... Armor. Rookie knocks back. Yeah, we're taking the healers this time. That's what I'm doing. Alright, Masters to heal. Strength, hell yes. Healing, draw two gnomes, apply drunk. Heals ten, excellent. Excellent. Yes. Go to the forest of gnomes. One of them flatly refuses to go. We'll pay him so he comes. We'll make a halt so we heal. We're gonna improve somebody. Applies training times two. Is training two better than training three? Do I not understand training? Oh, after training's over, Kung Fu goes off. So yeah, smaller number's better. Three damage two times, seven damage. Yeah, I do like removing the mana cost. But strength times four, pretty nice. But nah, Treya. Strength times four. Like this deck is all about strength. We are friends. Follow the gnome. Where are you going? All right. We have another opportunity to send them back. So we're gonna go with them. This is slavery. Send the gnomes back with a guide? <laughs> Send the gnomes back with a guide. Count out the coins who's shivering. You know, Chief, maybe you should leave these guys here and a couple of our guys would be happy to come back to the tavern with me, huh? Who do we send back? Someone has to lead... Send... Lead them back. I'll lead four. Choose another one, the guide says. More and more mushroom gnomes are coming to the hut. If those who call the ladies are inside, you have the last chance to try and explain to the tribe that they're being used. You jump on a stop. Listen to me, mushroom gnomes! A lemon bar. Ooh. <gasps> Thank you, Jimmy. I love lemon bars. Friend! Dozens of heads turn to you. Your ladies enslave you! You live on the bones of your own kin, and eat mushrooms that poison you! I But you don't get the finish. The witches run out. You're not slaves, friend! Alright. Unfortunately, we're gonna have a bunch of them on our deck now. How you doing, Jimmy?
All right. Oh, no. Shroomers are scary. But let's go ahead and rebel first. Sleepy? But why? I will hurt myself to draw a gnome. I imagine, like, it's definitely, like, around your bedtime as far as I know. We have to try and kill one of these ladies as fast as we can. Alright, let's do some training. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Draw two gnomes, become drunk, heal and become drunk. I made a mistake there, that was a bad idea. No, stop! God damn it! No! God, come on! You suck. At the very least, if we're drunk, we're hard to hit. We're all wobbly. One now. Like, that's a lot of damage. Gives five armor. All right, more strength. Poison's really bad, but we're getting close now. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Yes, shuffle, please. Come on now. Please! No! You gotta be kidding me! Ooh! <laughs> you suck! I hate you! Alright, I'm gonna do the first, like, send people back one. I'm gonna do that one. That way we remove some people. We need- we need the right balance so I can hit myself just enough. Just let's go! These witches! Piss me off! Alright, a bigger squad. Call everyone cowards. You know what? We're gonna get a Kung Fu Master anyway, so get out of my sight. And then we'll say goodbye to... If the target has armor, gain armor. We're never seeing that happen, so goodbye to you. We need people that will heal us. Go to the forest, pay a gnome, make a halt, choose a gnome to level up. I'm going with the strength gnome again. Approach the gnome, don't be afraid, follow the idiot. Send them back with a guide. Choose gnome. This jackass. I'll lead two, says the guide, so choose another one. Shroomer. Alright, go further. Why are you serving them? This is slavery. Send the gnomes back with a guide. Choose a gnome. Shroomer. 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 
Shroomer. Shroomer, there we go. Now we have a reasonable number of them. You're not slaves to battle. Okay. In our deck, there are five of them. Seven total. That's a ridiculous number. But I'm feeling better now. Let's get some strength going. Get some armor. <clears throat> Do a big hit. They're all coming at me. If I'm drunk, they have a harder time, but... I have a chance to miss, too. And we haven't taken any damage yet. No reason to heal yet. Go on. Hit me. See if I care. I don't. So now they're all healing for seven, which is outrageous. I need more strength. They've debuffed me six. That's real rough. Yes. Slap her around a little bit. Heal ten. Looking better. End turn. And full health for everybody! The problem is the one in the back is the one with the less health. I can't target them. We're exclusively melee hitters. I want more strength. More strength. More... What's in my deck? Here, force a shuffle. There it is! Yeah, like if it's a sword, front row only. If it's a bow... We can hit the back row, but this character is all about self-harm, healing, strength, and melee. To the point where we actually have a debuff on ranged gnomes. But we draw cards when we hurt ourselves, so we have like that going for us. We can knock this one back to get this one in the front. Punch her. Draw two gnomes. Gain a mana, gain armor, hurt myself, hurt myself, get more strength. I don't care if I miss. I don't like poison, though. Poison's gonna be rough. They have so much heal! No! Alright, one of them hit. Heal. Draw a card. <laughs> draw cards. I keep ending up with just all of the hurt yourself at the bottom of the deck. Well, that's no good. But when we're drunk, we're hard to hit. So miss, miss, miss. More strength. Gain some armor. Oh, come on, nah. I hate you. I hate you so much. Big hit. Draw two gnomes. Heal. Hurt myself today. All right, I have more of the stupid hurt yourself ones, so we're just gonna throw that in the garbage. They're all gonna heal! Go right to hell! Seven damage two times. No! You... suck. Please, God. All right, our only hope is that they all miss me. At least they have that going for me. But, like, the, my numbers are getting huge. We're getting big hits here. Draw two gnomes. Like, I'm already drunk, right? Yeah, we might as well. 20 damage. 20, 17 twice. 
We missed. We got one. Missed twice. Missed. More healing. Oh, we're so close! Almost killed one. What's left in the deck? Not worth it. Not gonna do it. No! Come on! <laughs> God damn it. Alright. I know exactly what I'm doing this time. I got it. I got it. I have it. I have it in my head now. I'm gonna speed run my way back to those witches. Not reading nothing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Let's go. I need the healers with the strength buff. Very important. Alright, larger squad. Everyone's cowards. I'm getting rid of all of my mana gnomes because we only get mana gnomes after this. So no mana gnomes. Healers. To the forest. Pay, pay. Choose a gnome to make better. Four strength. Approach. Follow. Send them back. Shroomer. Shroomer. Why are you serving? This is slavery. Send more gnomes back. Shroomer. 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 You're not slaves to battle. Okay. I'm in it now. I'm in it to win it now. So they're coming at me with four damage apiece. Let's get training started. Get some armor. Forty-nine. I would like to get the forty-three at the front, but that's gonna be hard to do. But... I wanna do the damage. She's gonna heal it anyway. Yep, here comes all the healing. So our job is to get to the strength buffs. We need to get all the strength buffs. Draw two gnomes. Gain mana. Make my smell nice and strong. Do not use the heal, ten. We'll save that for later. Shroomer, more strength. That's fine, you didn't full heal everybody. More strength. Armor. Now I'll take the ten. More strength. We're at the poison stage of the fight. But my strength is flying up. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Damn it. One down! Just try and hit me. Okay, you succeeded once. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. One left! At six health, not going to do the shroomers. Because I'm taking three poison damage. I need to, like, find heals or kill her. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Fuck you! Mushroom gnomes tried very hard, but they hindered you more than they helped. But now the witches are defeated, and the secret of the lost tribe is revealed. The tribe did not disappear, but was enslaved by three mushroom witches. You're returning from the forest of fireflies with a giant squad of mushroom gnomes. These are sickly guys, and they will suffer from mushroom addiction for a long time. But it warms your soul to realize that you have saved an entire tribe of gnomes. Mushroom addicts. 